In this video, I will show how to create a decomposition tree chart in Power BI. So, decomposition chart is a, an important chart which we can use to show hierarchical kind of data along with multiple dimensions and measures in Power BI. And also, it has some kind of uh, AI features enabled into the decomposition tree chart. So, uh, first let me show you the data which I will be using to create the decomposition chart let me navigate to the data panel then here as you can see see we have multiple columns this is an order table so in the order table we have row id uh, order id order date ship date and multiple columns are there and if i move to the right we can see we have sales quantity discount and profit which we can use to calculate different measures and create other summary calculations out of these dimensions like sales quantity discount and profit now let me move back to the report here inside the report uh, the first thing i have to do it I, ha I have to click on this decomposition tree if you come to the right hand if you expand this visualization panel below you can see decomposition tree click on that decomposition tree then expand it uh, depending upon uh, your convenience then if you come down here in the visualization itself you can see multiple fields called analyze explain by tool tip and all now I'm going to insert different dimensions and measures uh, calculated summarized measure values into this explain by and analyze so let me pull certain dimensions from this order table so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a decomposition tree map where I will create a tree based on three dimensions which are segment, category and subcategory. We have three dimensions called segment, category and subcategory and as the measure I will be using the sum of sales. We have one column called sales. I will be using the sum of sales as the measure. So let me start with segment let me see yeah as you can see we can search fields using this search option now i'm going to pull this segment into this explain by and the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull sales sum of sales into this analyze so let me pull this sum of sales into analyze and now what you can see when you come to this visualization side is you can see a single bar with the sum of sales uh, if you see here you can't find any tree or you can't find any decomposition tree here what you have to do is you have to click on this plus sign and click on this segment now what you can see is you can see different con different segments called consumer corporate and home office and below that you can see the sum of sales for each of the segment now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more dimensions into the explain by so the next dimension I'm going to add is category I'm going to add it below segment one one more dimension I'm going to add that is subcategory now we have three dimensions and one measure called sum of sales now I'm going to expand using the same plus sign uh, as you can see we can use either three of these dimensions to expand but I'm going to do it in a hierarchical manner first I will expand based on segment now you can see this has got expanded based on segment now again I'm going to expand based on the second dimension which is which I'm going to choose is category now the other thing next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this category into different subcategories yeah as you can see we can do this for every individual values inside the dimension such that the segment contains three segments which are consumer corporate home office category contains technology furniture office supply I can simply expand for furniture office supplies as well and for corporate and home office as well let me show you that as well I'm going to close this based on subcategory and I'm going to this furniture and find 
the plus sign here and I'm going to expand this and I'm going to expand this based furniture based on subcategory and now we will get this now let me move on to the AI feature feature that the decomposition tree is featuring now I'm going to close the entire thing now if I come to this segment and I'm again going to click on this plus sign now you can see two symbols at the beginning of high value and low value I'm going to click on this high value see what you can see is there will be a dotted line between the segment and category for which the category is having the highest sale similarly if I close this and go back and again click the plus sign and I'm going to click on this low value option let us see what will happen see now what happen is that dotted line points from the segment consumer to the subcategory fast fasteners where we have the sum of sales as the lowest value and this is how we create decomposition tree in power bi thank you